This is a Spark T4-2 server running Solaris. It has the desktop package installed. I'll put that there just to keep the noise down. Uh, there's the desktop. You can see all the cores on here. Uh, the desktop's really slow and there's almost no support for graphics cards. I mean, there's like two of them that you can get, but they're really expensive. So it's all, it's really slow for the desktop experience. The terminal looks fine. So I got all 128 cores, 512 gigs of RAM, that's probably the swap. Um, and then this is the terminal output. Mouse and keyboard work. I just have a single drive in right now. You can add, if you go to the network management. Okay, so here we are in the network management. That's connected via the cable back there to the net management port. So we'll just log in. Yeah, that password really isn't secure, it's just root and change me. Those are the defaults. Um, and in here we can see, you know, all the information. It's kind of like the uh, command line interface. Uh, there are both the processors. We can check the cooling too. Yeah, we can see the, so the exhaust temperature and the inlet temperature. Though, of course, I have the fans blocked right now, so those would be a bit high. It's taking 650 watts. Only one drive in, it's an SSD, 120 gig. There's also like KVMs, you can, you can set power limits. It's really nice to use this instead of the command line. Okay, so here we can see Firefox running. I'm not sure why the colors are like this. Uh, I've used it before and they have not been like this. Seems like we're missing a red or something. But you can see on the desktop there's really red. Um, so for example, I could do like my website. Um, let me type it over there. Um, and it runs and loads all of them fine. The mouse is kind of weird. Uh, you might be able to see it. It's, it it's almost looks like it's corrupted. It's the problem with Spark and RISC architecture. It's just not really supported. But you, you used to be able to get a higher resolution on here, um, but for whatever reason when I updated it, it limited me to 640 by 40. Uh, I'll work in here. I mean, most people won't be using a interface like this to run on this server. It's only really good for running Java servers, pretty much, well, pretty much just Java. Uh, you really can't do much on it just because it, you know, it isn't compatible with x86 or it can't do any uh, emulation. Uh, I just thought I'd show this video because no one else really shows this thing running an actual GUI operating system. Uh, you can just install it by running pkg install solaris-desktop and then it installs. So that is the uh, Spark T4-2.